Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a war driving demonstration with the device I created called the Autopi. So the hardware setup that I'm using includes a Wi-Fi dongle, a GPS module, and a Raspberry Pi based platform I created called the Autopi. I'm going to be using a program called Kismet to map Wi-Fi networks to GPS coordinates. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my GPS module with a program called GPSD. The GPS I'm using is a cheap U-Blocks module that communicates over UR, which I've tethered to the serial USB cable. After plugging it into the audit pie, I'll just run sudo gpsd slash dev slash tty usb zero, which should be the port that it was assigned. Once the red LED starts blinking on the GPS, that means that I have a fix, and I can run cgps tac s to show some basic GPS data. So now that the GPS is working, I'm going to plug in my Wi-Fi dongle and launch Kismet. Now that everything is set up and the Kismet server is running, we're good to go. So I've been out skating for about half an hour now, and we should have captured a pretty good amount of Wi-Fi networks by now. So I'm going to shut off Kismet, and I'm going to head back home. Alright, so I just got back, and the first thing we're going to do is process all the Kismet files using SCP from my Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to run SCP Pi at 192.168.0.9. And I'm going to copy all the files from the War Skating directory to my local computer. Okay, so we have a whole different uh, bunch of file formats here, but I'm really only interested in the NetXML file. And there's a few different ways that we can process our information and visualize it. And the first we're going to take a look at is Google Maps. So using the Giz Kismet utility, I'm first going to process the um, NetXML file and create a SQL database. So here we can see it's adding all the access points and other information into our database. Nice. Okay, so using this command here, um, I'm just going to output our SQL database to a, Kis uh, I mean a KML file, which we should be able to layer and import over um, Google Earth. So I'm going to import the KML file we just generated, and it should be able to pop up over this map. Okay, so here I can see all of the um, Wi-Fi access points that I discovered on our war driving session. And it's also color-coded, so the green networks are WPA and WPA2, and the red networks are WEP networks. So this is a pretty cool gauge of all the physical places that I would have covered during my war session. It's a pretty cool way to look at this information. 
So the next thing we're going to look at is the Wiggle database, which is just a large collection of other war driving data that other people have uploaded. And I actually uploaded my file off camera because it was taking a while. But here we can see that I discovered a total of 836 networks during our session, and I contributed 621 new ones to the Wiggle database. So that was pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in today's demonstration. And if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more of this content, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.